Biomechanics aims to acquire information about kinematics, the motion of objects in space, kinetics, dynamic variables, force and pressure, and about musculoskeletal actions and reactions. To do this, biomechanics uses EMG, electromyography. The Vedomed company uses its high-tech solutions to measure biomechanical parameters that enable a holistic analysis of human movement and posture. Our products are essentially always based on the following pillars – kinematics, kinetics and EMG. There are a variety of systems we can use in this case. Here we have the inertial sensor system with a pressure treadmill. Other options include optical systems, that is camera-based systems, that are able to detect the position of markers in 3D. Biomechanical measuring systems are non-invasive and designed to diagnose and treat misalignments and diseases and promote rehabilitation. They are also used outside of the realm of orthopedics. We measure motion and typically do so for all medical conditions. Of course, we primarily focus on orthopedics. For example, our systems are used in joint replacement cases to monitor the result. The systems are applied in competitive sports after ankle injuries, for example. This includes an athlete's ability to return to play following cruciate ligament injury. Our systems are also extensively used in the field of neurology. Für die verschiedenen Messsysteme kommen unterschiedliche Technologien zum Einsatz. Das 3D-Inertialsensorsystem MyoMotion beispielsweise funktioniert auf Basis kombinierter Sensoren. The MyoMotion system consists of these tiny sensor units and includes three different types of sensors. That means each of these small boxes contains three different sensor types. Those are acceleration sensors, rotation rate sensors, gyroscopes and a magnetic field sensor, a so-called magnetometer. By calculating these three sensor types, we get the rotation of this box on the test subject or the basic rotation of the box. By using a biomechanical model, as you can see here on the screen, we get a representation of the skeletal motion. An analysis by the system requires preparation. The sensors are attached to the patient or test subject. The system is then calibrated to reflect the height and body segments as well as the patient posture. The measurement is made after these steps. The MyoMotion system can be applied in a variety of cases because it's a mobile measuring system. This means that in addition to the core disciplines of gait and motion analysis, we can also take this system out into the field. The Einsatzmöglichkeiten von dem MyoMotion system sind super vielfältig, weil wir hier von einem mobilen Messsystem sprechen. Das heißt also, wir können natürlich angefangen von den Kerndisziplinen Ganganalyse, Laufanalyse, natürlich aber auch damit vor allen Dingen ins freie Feld gehen. Just like the MyoMotion system, sensors, and in this case, pressure sensors, are also embedded in the instrumented treadmills. This specific treadmill features pressure sensors that are embedded under the belt. The sensor provides information at any time of the gait cycle. For example, during the stance phase where the foot remains in contact. This gives us the pressure distribution under the soles of the feet. We calculate the vertical ground reaction force by adding up the pressure force per unit area. This means we can dynamically assess the vertical ground reaction force as well as the distribution of pressure under the feet during the walking process. For quite some time the setup time was a major obstacle when biomechanics was used in therapy and training. The benefit of the instrumented treadmill is that you can simply step on it and immediately receive data on both pressure distribution and force measurements. We now have a fully automatic analysis system. Our devices can benefit a variety of uses. This ranges from applications in robotics to orthopedics, sports science and biomechanics, all the way to virtual reality. In other words, very innovative applications. We collaborate with various institutions, for example with major medical associations and research institutes.